while I was playing LMS, an interesting thought had crossed my mind. And this thought is, what if the Ferox Enclave itself turned into a battle royale map, and all the inhabitants within had to face off against one another? To kick this video off, we're gonna do Lisa versus Justine. Justine over here is pretty formidable, having a dual wield dagger setup with these daggers also having a sort of space in between which I believe could probably use to disarm opponents, as well as boasting a very nice uh, set of what is it, steel armor and some sort of cape, which I don't know. Lisa on the other hand has a very long staff, this is, is more of a spear as well with a with a sword going towards the end. I'm not sure if Lisa can cast many spells, but if that is the case, uh, spells typically do good against armor individuals, uh, but if that is not the case and this is only a hand-to-hand -hand combat, I, I think Justine does have the upper hand, though Lisa could get a an easy KO with maybe a head chop or the spells as mentioned earlier. See, now, as much as I like Scully, I don't believe he would do very well. Given he was a good fighter and a formidable PKer back in the day, I, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna, he's gonna fare very well in his current situation. Next up, we got the Mercenary versus the, the Banker. And both are pretty formidable. Um, they're boasting relatively similar armor, but I do believe uh, the Mercenary has a bit more tank to him. However, the banker may have alternate items within his bank chest we're unaware of, and this could help in, in defeating against the mercenary, but I, I think in normal circumstances, the mercenary does have the upper hand over the banker. After this, we got the, the acolytes, and I think they'll kill themselves amongst each other. Uh, part who's getting his face kicked in. Um, as for Sister Sar Scarofia and, you know, Father Ferox, Ferox has some sort of jagged uh, armor on him, so all, all he needs to do is just one single shoulder check and uh, Sister Scarofia is fucking, she's out. So Sigismund right here, he's got full rune armor and his ass got a Gmall on him, so the KO potential is ridiculous. Also, thank you to this guy, he's had nice vids. He haven't been posting much. I think Sigismund is taking out the mercenary and um, the mercenary probably just doesn't have too much too much uh, help against that. The the big old granite mall is, is he's gonna keep his distance from from the mercenary, unless somehow the mercenary gets up close. But uh, that that is a stretch. I believe Sigismund, a trained professional who is legitimately guarding the Ferox, is is just gonna beat a, a, an amateur mercenary. Now this is where it also gets crazy right here. We got the corrupted warrior. I I can barely even see this person here. Let's let's turn off. Actually no, we'll keep on. Right here we got the corrupted warrior. This fucker is He's in the contending for for just taking it all. He's got obsidian shield, uh D sim, torso. I don't know what this darker armor is, but he he's pretty pretty formid formidable. I think Sigismund might hold his own just a little bit, but Corrupted Warrior is definitely coming for his booty. Um, I, I believe this one wins that. But we got more. There's more over here in the corner. Uh, Martin, he's dead. Over here, though, this is this is where it gets disgustingly interesting. So we got Andreu's Mai versus the other fool. So what does he have on him right here? I can't quite tell what armor this is. This might even be some sort of lesser justicer. So he's just as decked out as the other fool. And look at this fucking sword. He's legitimately fully armored out. So I don't. I believe due to the the defense itself, um, this the corrupted warrior over here. Let's take a look at him once more. He's not getting through that. He's practically impenetrable. He can slice all he wants, but it's not going to get very far. The Corrupted Warrior on the other hand, uh, he's got exposed arms, exposed neck, you know, th there's there's many areas of vulnerability, so while I think he's in the contending for for the win, I don't think he'll take it if it's a straight one-on-one, -on -one. maybe, maybe if he third parties somehow. Now this third party could very well happen because we got a three-man over here of some very formidable opponents. We got Fabel Bile. Uh, Durst Venator and, and Andros Mai. If Durst Venator gets to like some sort of, you know, parkour shit and just unloads bullets, 
Um, maybe it penetrates the armor, or, or, or maybe not, but I, I don't think Durst Venator is taking on Andros Mai. He's probably getting his, his, his shit clapped in. Though, Fabel, um, I'm almost sure she's a, a mage. Oh no, she's actually a scientist out here. Okay, yeah, um, I was gonna give Fabel a, a sort of benefit of the doubt, because she looked like a mage, but it, it, she clearly is gonna get her shit click kicked in. This is just a scientist trying to collect venom, and she says it's herself. I've never been in a fight before, so... Um, that third party likely chance is pretty low, as Andro's Mai is probably just gonna slaughter Durst and, and Fabel. Um, and then mo move on to probably kill, uh, what, what is it? The Corrupted Warrior. But this leaves another thing, um, if Lisa over here does have mage, she's fucking up Andro's Mai, the, you know, the Justicer Warrior. Lisa ver versus Ferox. I think Lisa kicks Ferox, especially with the that hybrid uh, staff that she has after checking upstairs we only got one more refugee from the top and this is kind of where i assume uh durst venator would be going for for some some shots just phew, phew, phew. but um you know once anybody gets a, a hold of durst venator there's not much he can do and he's not really going to be penetrating armor now overall i think if lisa and father ferox over there do have access to mage uh, Justine and Andros Mai, and same with the Corrupted Warrior over here, they're all toast because they have armor on and that is just a straight counter. And if that's the case, um, our archer over here, Durst Venator, he should be a counter to our mages, but due to his, uh, his proximity to Andros Mai, I think Durst Venator just gets killed like right off the bat. But if he, if he somehow manages to get away, Lisa and Ferox do have access to mage. I think v Durst Venator gets a, the dub at the end. The likely chance is Durst Venator dies to Andros Mai, and if they don't have access to Mage, they die as well. And Andros Mai, due to due to being warrior, fully fully uh, armored out, he takes the dub over everyone else.